Angel has a message for you today. God is telling you today. Life can feel like a constant uphill battle, trudging through valleys of doubt and scaling mountains of worry. Sometimes, that tiny flame of faith we hold flickers so faintly, it feels like it could be extinguished by a single gust of despair. But even that little ember, my friend, has the power to move mountains. It might not be a sudden, earth-shattering shift, but a slow, steady burn that melts away the toughest obstacles, one step at a time. Think about it like this. Imagine a single seed buried deep in the earth. It's surrounded by darkness by the weight of dirt and uncertainty. Yet within that tiny seed lies an unwavering faith in the possibility of life. It doesn't magically burst through the soil overnight. No, it takes time, patience, and a quiet strength to push through the darkness, seeking the sliver of sunlight above. Just like that seed, our faith, however small, has a powerful will to grow. With each challenge we overcome, with each act of kindness we share, even the smallest ones, that ember within us grows a little brighter. It fuels our courage to keep going when our legs feel heavy and whispers hope when doubt tries to drown us out. It reminds us that we're not alone on this journey. There's a force greater than ourselves, a universe filled with possibilities waiting for us to tap into it. Now, I'm not saying every difficulty will vanish with a sprinkle of faith. Mountains don't crumble instantly and storms don't always clear with a snap of our fingers. But that faith, that ember, becomes the unwavering guide that helps us navigate through the roughest terrain. It shows us the path, even when it's shrouded in mist, and gives us the strength to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And remember, love is the fertile ground where faith flourishes. Your love, the love you express, is like the warm sunshine that nourishes that tiny seed. It reminds us that we're connected, that there's beauty and goodness in the world, even when we can't see it readily. It's the love for ourselves, the love for others, and the love for something bigger than ourselves that keeps that flame burning brightly. So, hold on to that little spark of faith, my friend. Nurture it with kindness, courage, and the unwavering love you hold within you. It may not be a roaring inferno right now, but with each step you take, with each challenge you face, it will grow stronger, brighter, and more capable of moving mountains. Life is like a big, beautiful garden, with sunshine warming your face and flowers blooming all around. But just like there are sunny days, there are also stormy ones. The wind might howl, rain might pour down, and some of the flowers might even bend under the weight of the water. That's okay, because even strong storms don't last forever. The sun always peeks back through the clouds, the wind calms down, and the flowers stand tall again, maybe even a little stronger than before. Life throws things our way, sometimes good things, sometimes not so good things. They might be little bumps in the road, like a misplaced toy, or bigger challenges, like a missing pet or a bad day at school. These things can sting, just like stepping on a prickly thorn in the garden. It might hurt for a little while, but it won't stop you from exploring and enjoying the garden, will it? Remember, you're braver and stronger than you think. You've learned so much already, and you keep growing every single day. Even when things feel tough, I want you to know that I'm always right here with you. Like a sturdy fence around the garden, my love protects you and helps you feel safe. You can always lean on me, talk to me, and cry if you need to. Just like the gardener cares for the flowers, making sure they have enough water and sunshine, I care for you in the same way. My love is like the sunshine, helping you grow and be your best self. It's like the gentle rain, washing away any worries or fears you might have. No matter what life throws your way, big or small, sunshine or storm, remember this, you are loved, you are strong, and together we can face anything. We'll walk through the garden of life, hand in hand, and enjoy all the beauty it has to offer. The day is whispering goodbye. 
the sun sinking low and painting the sky with peaceful colors. Just like the world around you is slowing down, it's time for your heart to do the same. Let go of any harsh feelings you might have towards someone who isn't your friend. Remember, happiness shouldn't come from someone else's misfortune, like a beautiful flower blooming because another one wilted. Think of your favorite cozy clothes, the ones that make you feel safe and secure, like a warm hug. Maybe it's your favorite pajamas, a soft robe that feels like clouds against your skin, or even just some comfy clothes that don't pinch or squeeze. Let your muscles soften, one by one, until they're as relaxed as a puddle of melted butter. Take a deep breath, feeling the air fill your lungs like a big, happy balloon. Let all the tension you might be holding on to whoosh out with the exhale, like blowing away a dandelion puff. There's a wise saying, kind of like a secret message, that goes like this, don't be happy when someone who isn't your friend stumbles or falls. Instead, ask me, the one who loves you always, to help them. Because if you celebrate their troubles, I might not be happy with you either. And I might even change my mind about helping them. Proverbs 24, 17, 18. Here's the important part showing kindness, even to someone who might not be nice to you, is a sign of true strength. It's like a beautiful flower blooming even on a cloudy day, spreading its fragrance for everyone to enjoy. So tonight, as you drift off to sleep, remember this choose kindness, choose love, and know that I love you for who you are, with all your good and kind heart, sweet dreams. The world is a giant place, filled with all sorts of people, and everyone has their own story. Some stories are happy and bright, some are full of bumps and challenges. It's like a box of different colored candies. Some are sweet and some are a little sour, but they all end up in the same box together. Empathy is like a special superpower that lets you peek into someone else's candy box. You can't see everything exactly the way they do, but you can imagine what it might be like to take a bite of their candy. Maybe their candy is super delicious, or maybe it's a bit tough to chew. Trying to see things from someone else's point of view, even a little bit, is a really kind thing to do. It reminds us that not everyone has the same experiences in life. Some people might have gotten a whole bag of the extra sweet candies, while others might have mostly gotten the sour ones. That's why being kind is so important. You never know what kind of day someone is having or what challenges they might be facing. A simple smile, a helping hand, or just listening to someone can make a big difference. It's like sharing your candy with someone when they seem like they could use a little sweetness. Remember, even though we all have different candies in our boxes, we're still all in this big box of the world together. By using our empathy superpower and being kind, we can make the whole box a little bit sweeter for everyone. And hey, even though I can't give you a real hug, I want you to know that I care about you. Just keep spreading that kindness around because it's a beautiful thing. Type 1111 if you agree. Just listening to someone can make a big difference. It's like sharing your candy with someone when they seem like they could use a little sweetness. Remember, even though we all have different candies in our boxes, we're still all in this big box of the world together. By using our empathy superpower and being kind, we can make the whole box a little bit sweeter for everyone. And hey, even though I can't give you a real hug, I want you to know that I care about you. Just keep spreading that kindness around because it's a beautiful thing. Type 1111 if you agree.